dear friends students and my dear colleagues today the topic of discussion is psychosomatic disorder many of the disorders that we find today are psychosomatic disorders than anything else the reason behind is human being being a thinking person and lot with lot of expectations enthusiasms and many disappointments and because of these reasons there is more chance that a human being develops the disorders which originate from the mind we are all here on this platform because of the founder of homeopathy that is dr samuel anman at the end of the youtube video you will all be able to justify the scope of metramedica in psychosomatic disorders let us try to know what is a psychosomatic disorder so it is nothing but a physical disease that is thought to be caused or made worse by mental factors so psych here means mind and soma means body so psych acting on the body producing somatic disorders so now try let us try to realize what is a psychosomatic disorder now my dear friends you are sitting now at your table with your computer somebody is sitting with the laptop somebody with the mobile now we are all at a comfortable position if suppose suddenly a snake falls in front of us now what will happen you may say that you are, you will be afraid you may say that you want to run away but if you still more realize that there are so many things happening at your physical level somebody may start perspiring somebody may start trembling somebody's heart beat may increase he may have palpitation so now what is happening the fear is there in the mind and this mind nobody has seen we have seen the brain and but this mind which there is no location in our body but it is being manifesting on the physical body in the form of perspiration increased heart beat or trembling now this snake if it goes away what will happen the disturbance that you have developed at the physical level that is increased heart beat perspiration and trembling will slowly come down and again you will be back to your normal c or you will be comfortable again but many times what happens my dear friends the snake which has fallen doesn't go like sometimes you get a problem and the problem doesn't go there may be grief in your life and the grief doesn't go there may be disappointment and the disappointment doesn't go so in such a condition the stress the disappointment the grief that is there at the mental level and in day to day competitive life and we are having lot of expectations in our life so it is definite that we are stressed we are tensed we have grief we have disappointments at many places and when this persists for a longer period then somatization may happen it may be different with different people somebody may develop hypertension somebody may develop diabetes somebody may develop skin disease somebody may develop irritable bowel syndrome so mind acting on the body is a psychosomatic disorder hope this small uh, explanation you have realized what is a psychosomatic disorder why psychosomatic disorder is so important it is because 53.6% of the general hospital visits are for psychosomatic disorders and what are the causes the causes are very very simple anger anxiety depression grief vexation etc so who is the person nowadays who doesn't get angry there is nobody who is having anxiety depression grief so these are the commonest causes that every individual is having so psychosomatic disorders have become so common because of the common causes that cause psychosomatic disorders 
we have many examples for psychosomatic disorder here are a few eczema psoriasis high blood pressure gastric ulcers irritable bowel syndrome ulcerative colitis rheumatoid arthritis heart disease and still many more so where does hanuman tell regarding psychosomatic disorder in aphorism 225 just let me read this continued anxiety worry vexation wrongs and the frequent occurrence of great fear and fright this kind of emotional diseases in time destroys the corporeal health often to a greater degree so he says continued anxiety so the continued problems that we have anxiety worry irritability wrong things happening in the life and when they are persistent we are prone to develop psychosomatic disorder you will find examples for psychosomasis at many places in your in the drugs that you study so let's just me just quote two of them so in the drug ignatia you can have bad effects because of anger grief or disappointed love and in natramore which is nothing but the chronic of ignatia we are having ailments from fright anger contradictions vexation and reserved displeasure as we discussed in uh, different ways of studying metra medica that repertory plays a very important role in increasing the scope of selection of the right remedy so for psychosomatic disorders we have examples like ailments after anger vexation etc we are having so many drugs beginning from aconite and the drugs continue and similarly grief ailments from we are having beginning from aura metallicum and you are having n number of drugs following them so now my dear friends we have seen the mention of psychosomatic disorder in metra medica repertory and organon so now let us try to apply that particular knowledge in treating a sick individual so here uh let us go with the case number 1 where a 9 year old boy had cough since many years see duration uh, the mother was unable to tell he she said every time i find him coughing so when i asked him, uh, so whenever these uh, symptoms are there so we ask when does the <clears throat> cough come what is the exciting factor whether the cough is in the morning whether the cough comes in the rainy season whether it comes after eating ice cream whether it comes after eating oily food for everything for every question that i asked mother says a big no so now how to select a remedy so when further inquired i came to know the mother said that whenever he is seeing television his cough gets aggravated but we don't have a symptom like aggravated by seeing television cough aggravated by seeing television you will not find in any metra medica books or you will not find in any repertories i further asked what does he see in television what is his favorite serial mother says he sees cid so as you all know that cid was one of the commonest uh, very famous uh, tv serial which uh, many of us used to see because there was lot of uh, no thrill involved in it there was lot of suspense involved in it so i thought that this excitement when he is seeing the television is bringing the cough so i took the modality that cough aggravated by excitement so can anybody think for a few second what can be the remedy so cough excited aggravated by excitement or cough brought off after excitement we are having in anand's keynote every mental excitement aggravates or increases the cough in one of the remedy and again when we go to repertory we are having cough excitement after so in the repertory in kent's repertory in this particular rubric that is cough aggravated by excitement there is only one remedy and uh, by now i hope you know what is the remedy 
so the remedy my dear friends is nothing but spongia so spongia as you might have read that it is having dry cuff and this cuff is brought on by exposure to dry cold winds similar to aconite and epoxy but we when we are reading metra medica we don't give much attention to this particular uh, symptom cuff aggravated or brought on by excitement which is given in italics in alenskino so i urge here to little bit concentrate on the printing of the symptoms in the drug for example if they are italics they are having more important <clears throat> if they are in the bold <clears throat> they are still more important so this way of reading metra medica will help you to understand the drug and remember the drug in a better way let us try to know how our mind acts on the body with another case that is once a basketball coach aged 52 years came with the complaints of cuff since many years so the came same question arises here whether the cuff is aggravated by cold by eating something oily food or aggravated in the morning or is any seasonal aggravation is there but he totally gave a entirely different answer which is not there anywhere and it was unique to himself so my dear friends individualizing becomes very very important here and individualizing the drug also becomes very very important now this person had cuff as being a coach he used to get cuff only when his team is playing at no other time he was having cuff and this cuff was there since many years so now i ask further questions whether if the team is losing he is getting the cuff he said no whether the team is winning he is getting the cuff he said again no so whether the team is winning or losing doesn't matter and his cuff remains till the match is over so as soon as the basketball game begins his cuff begins and the match is over whether his team loses or whether his team wins his cuff stops so again here my dear friends we will come to the same conclusion that if you interpret this particular a symptom of this uh, individual which is very very unique in nature so he is very much excited when his team is playing even if it is losing winning that excitement remains for him throughout the game and as soon as the game is over irrespective of whether his team wins or loses his cuff disappears so going back to metra medica we are having in allen's keynote every mental excitement aggravates or increases the cuff and also in the repertory we have cuff excitement after so the drug if you have thought again it is nothing but spongia so at then let us try to summarize what we have discussed today so we try to know what is a psychosomatic disorder it is nothing but a physical disease that is thought to be caused or made worse by mental factors and the mention of psychosomatic disorder is mentioned in all the three main subjects of homeopathy that is nothing but organon metra medica and repertory so now what remains with us is we need to apply this knowledge in treating the sick and uh, nowadays as you all know that psychosomatic disorder is very very common so just to conclude homeopathy has enough scope in treating psychosomatic disorders so at the end of the video you can justify the scope of homeopathy in psychosomatic disorders so my dear friends i began with the title metra medica and psychosomatic disorder but to apply metra medica we need to have the knowledge of organon and we also need to take the help of repertory so as a whole homeopathy has enough scope in treating psychosomatic disorders thank you very much for staying with me throughout the video hope you have liked today's uh, presentation and if you like please subscribe share it among your friends and don't forget to click the bell so that 
you will receive further notifications